Welcome to my Pecha Kucha for LDT 550. This presentation, using the Pecha Kucha style, is one of several firsts for me that have occurred during this course. I'm going to use this as a reflection of my journey over the semester, the highs, most things, and the low, which was really only one thing. Learning Design Studio was important for me because it provided a structured place, a structured course, in which to explore and engage with software and digital tools in a creative way to actively examine how these tools can be used to build, share, develop ideas and educational activities through the act of creating my own artifacts. There was a lot to cover in 15 weeks, and I very much enjoyed the ability to create my own personal learning pathway. I found this method inspiring and hope that one day I'll be able to build my own Choose Your Own Educational Path course for my students. On alternate weeks, we share digital tools and resources with each other in the activity called What's Hot. I've participated in app and software sharing activities before, but for some reason the structure of this worked well for me in ways other sharing activities haven't. I enjoyed this activity particularly because I was able to share things I really enjoy and feel are solid educational tools, and I learned a lot from my peers. I'd like to share a few highlights from this activity. One I enjoyed sharing is a series of videos Apple puts out every couple of years called Working With. These videos focus on how to use Apple products effectively. What I like is that they focus on workflows that demonstrate how to get work done. In week 10, David Singer, one of my classmates, shared the article 30 of the most popular trends in education. I really like the comprehensive list of tool, EdTech tools that were shared and I like the way in which it ranked them as either moving up or down. This is very similar to the New Horizon Media Report. In week six, I shared one of my favorite applications, Liquid Text. Liquid Text is an app that is not very well known, but it's incredibly powerful because it allows you to annotate, mark up, and organize your thoughts as read PDFs in a way that's very natural and feels like real paper. I love visualizing information, and in week 12, Thomas Conway shared Kialo. It's a web-based platform that visualizes rational debate. It shows you how opposing positions on a debate are related to one another, and allows us the ability to drill down to points and arguments being made. It's a tool that is unique and one I found very interesting to play with and explore. In the same week, I shared a feature Google Slides has that allows you to ask your audience questions while you give your presentation. It was personally rewarding and very motivating to share a tool. Uh, when a classmate said they started immediately using it, and they said the tool was so well received, the organizer asked them if they could leave this open for the remainder of speakers. In week 10, Elizabeth O'Brien shared a web-based application called Animaker. I really enjoy this because I see it as having great potential for the school I work in where a majority of our students are ESL speakers. Tools like this empower them to have a voice and I loved learning about it. Design Activity 1 was both my first group activity and a first for me. I hadn't explored the design thinking model or the activity's task of examining and redesigning the gift giving process before. I enjoyed the activity, I really enjoyed working with Robbie, and I learned a lot. Interestingly, since doing the exercise, I keep running into it everywhere. What I really enjoyed about Design Activity 2, Apps for Education, was that it held another first for me. The act of designing an application is one I've done before. However, I decided to try something different and use a program called Adobe XD, a rapid prototyping software. I'd never used it before, and this was potentially a stupid choice, but it paid off very well. In Design Activity 3, Grading Student Work, I was able to continue using what I'd learned on Adobe XD in the previous activity and apply it to this one as well, which was very rewarding because it allowed me to continue my personal growth and development. Which brings me to activity four, the crit session, my self-reflection. I really did struggle with this activity because I didn't know what I wanted to critically review. And after thinking about what I had done for a while, I realized that I've been pushing myself in this course to try new things, notably XD, and shortly as you hear about it, Google Earth Studio. Design Activity 5, where we looked at current trends in learning design uh, by reviewing the Horizon Report, was just, for me, pleasurable at, from a nerdy geek standpoint. I read the Horizon Report every year, so working with others and hearing their take on it was interesting. 
In addition to the other activities that we did for the course, there's the Learning Pathways modules, which I really enjoyed from a personal growth perspective. My first one was the HTML, Java, and jQuery module, which was great because I hadn't written HTML in a long time. It was nice returning to web design. But unfortunately for the second module, the Working with Databases module, I struggled. I had difficulties with time management and demands from work and a certification course that was going on at the same time. So I didn't do so well on this particular module. However, my next module, which was video editing, was a lot of fun. I discovered something called Google Earth Studios, a product I'd never used before, and I played with it and created a video showing where I live in Hong Kong. It was a lot of fun and a very rewarding activity that has a lot of educational potential. My final module was the Adobe Photoshop one, which I really enjoyed. It was great fun creating my Bauhaus artifacts. Uh, you can see the first one in the top right corner. I had so much fun, I created two additional ones, as, a, as well as the photo collage, which you can see on the left, and then the logo, which was used at the very beginning of this video. And now, at the end of the semester, I can absolutely say that the LDT 550 Design Studio course had an impact on me both from my way of thinking and also some of the activities that I'm beginning to design for my own students in my classrooms. I really enjoyed this course. Thank you for watching.